Hey guys, today we're coming at you with a brand new podcast about Looking for Alaska by John Green. Since this is our very first podcast, I am here in Alaska and Cambria is all the way in Alabama, which is where the book mostly takes place. To start off, please welcome my co-host, Cambria Small. She will be giving us a summary about Looking for Alaska. This is a summary of our novel, Looking for Alaska. Um, Miles Halter is tired of his his pathetic, friendless life, so he decided for his junior year of high school to go to Alabama to attend uh, Crailview Creek Boarding School, where he tells his parents he's going to find a great purpose, but he ends up finding out more about himself than he ever could imagine. Before we move on, please note that there will be spoilers in this podcast. When Miles, a.k.a. Pudge, goes to the boarding school in Alabama, he meets one of his best friends, Chip, or also called the Coronel. He also meets Alaska Young. He ends up falling in love with this girl, Alaska Young. However, before anything can go between them, she ends up passing away in a car crash. This actually becomes a very debated topic in the book because many people feel that Alaska's death was actually a suicide attempt because before her death, her mother had actually passed away and she felt a lot of pressure. What is your opinion on this, Cambria? Alaska's uh, driving at night was basically a suicide attempt. It was really caused by like her drinking after the big break and then realizing her boyfriend calls her and has her eight year anniversary eight month anniversary and then she just panics and goes in the car goes after him but it also has relations with because her mom recently just died died in front of her she's always looking for an answer of escaping the Lady Rather, like her biggest purpose in life was doing that. Yeah, I also agree, but I also disagree because I feel that Alaska didn't go out thinking that she was actually going to kill herself. I think her irresponsibility because of the death of her mother caused her to go out and get drunk and be irresponsible. Alaska's death actually brings us to another very important topic, which is theme. A major theme in the book is how death is inevitable and you can't prepare for it. Starting off with Alaska's mother, there was nothing Alaska could possibly do to prepare for her mother's death. Once Alaska's mother died, all she could do is deal with that pain that she was going through. And once Alaska dies, it was very difficult for Miles. Again, there was nothing that he could possibly have done to prepare for a death of someone he loved so dearly. We also see the death of Miles' old life in Florida. Nothing that he had experienced before going to the boarding school would prepare him for what he was about to go through in Alabama. In our next segment, my co-host, Cambria Small, which is all the way in Alabama where Miles went to boarding school, will be talking about symbols in the book right after this commercial break. Hey, are you trying to seem cool around your friends? Or are you trying to attract a very pretty lady? Either way, you should start smoking Miles cigarettes. They're perfect for showing all your friends how cool you are, and they're perfect for attracting the ladies. Our cigarettes are also very cheap, only being a few cents, so you can not only buy it for yourself, but buy it for your friends too. Mild cigarette is not responsible for any health conditions that may occur. And we are back from our commercial break. Cambria will now be talking about some symbols in the book. Our next segment is going to be about symbols we noticed throughout the novel. Smoking is a big part of it. Because when Miles first arrived, he noticed that it was like the thing his new crowd, his new crew friends did. Uh, the cloud and Alaska were having a conversation about buying smokes for, for, with each other and being, being able to find a place to smoke. And he didn't really, ha- he noticed that he didn't really have that opportunity as well. Uh, in Florida because 
it wasn't he was always around his parents and it was very like a safe environment segment in this podcast is going to be about symbols we notice in the novel so white flower is a big symbol in the novel because we notice after alaska's death how she had white tulips in the back of her car seat now we will be having a special segment where we have callers call in and ask us some questions oh look that's our first caller hello what is your question does john green use figurative language and if he does name some examples john green uses some figurative language such as automatopoeias hyperboles, oxymorons, similes, and metaphors. An example of an automatopoeia in the book is on page 107. It says, I lit the fuse, ran, bang! An example of a hyperbole can be found on page 23. It says, I wouldn't have cared if my girlfriend was a jaguar driving cyclops with a beard. I would have been grateful just to have someone to make out with. When Miles says this, he doesn't actually mean he would make out with a cyclops. (laughs) <laughs> he just means that he will be grateful just to have a girlfriend okay we have just enough time for another caller hello what is your question did you expect alaska to die in the middle of the book i actually did not expect alaska to die at all i thought that because of the theme it was just gonna be alaska's mother that died and it's gonna it was gonna signify like the theme but when Alaska died, I was completely heartbroken because she was one of the most important characters and Miles completely fell in love with her. And I think like as Miles fell in love with her, I think us as the reader also fall in love with her. Okay, so that was the end of our calling section. Thank you for everyone that called us. But now I have a question for you, Cambria. What was your true opinion about the book and what did you like about it? With Looking for Alaska, I really like how the novel was laid out, like the, the before and after. It was very climactic because you're always wondering what's before or what, like <laughs> what are they talking about before? And it wasn't really like chapters because like seemed like chapters kind of freak me out sometimes. I don't know why they just do because I guess like because it's so long to leading up to something important. But I like how it's just, like, before, 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 and then after. Really, like, when you know what happens after, it just shooks you. And you weren't really, like, expecting that. You thought it was going to be something way, way different, like, <laughs> with the characters or the events that happened. But it was a very, like, an interesting read. And not, it wasn't, like, a dull read. Like, it kept me on the toe. Like, I was very invested in it as I was reading. I wanted to know what happened, what happened next. And I really enjoyed it. (laughs) Yes, I also feel the same way. I love the way he laid it out and how it was the before and after. And it kind of shows how you, there is no way that you can prepare for like someone's death. It just comes suddenly and it's not anything that you would ever expect. And also it brings in more of like, a real feel to the book because he has like the dates in which things happen and it brings in that like sentimental feel to it. I would definitely rate this book a 10 out of 10 just because it does bring forth um, emotion from you and it does make you feel connected to the book. If you are looking for a book that you can relate to and a book that will probably relate to your life you should definitely read looking for alaska it has something in it that anyone can relate to i would recommend this book okay that's all the time that we have for today but thank you for listening and we hope we gave you a great insight to the book would like to Thank my co-host Cambria for going all the way down to Alabama for this special podcast. And I would like for everyone to take some time to listen to the background music. It was made uh, specifically for this book. It's called Looking for Alaska. Perhaps in 